Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about the effects of pressure and temperature on solutions. Beyond the consideration of solvent solute types such as polar and nonpolar, there are two other important factors that determine total solubility of a solute in a particular solvent. They are temperature of the system and pressure of the system. Dissolution or solvation is an energetic process. This means that temperature, which is a form of energy, can affect the solubility of a solute. Increasing the temperature will often lead to an increase in salt solubility, but there are notable exceptions such as sodium chloride. Since solutions are dynamic equilibria, they are governed by Le Chatelier's principle, and predictions can be made using the value of delta H solution. Unlike solids, the solubility of gases in water decreases as temperature is increased. This is because dissolving gases in water is an exothermic process, and gas solubility in water will decrease as temperature is increased. This can be seen when you boil water and small bubbles are released below the boiling point of water. These processes are driven by Le Chatelier's principle. A system at equilibrium will move to counteract any changes. Gas solubility in a liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas, which is an expression of Henry's law. S is the solubility of the gas, KH is the Henry's law constant for that system, and P is the partial pressure of the gas solute. If a system is at equilibrium and the pressure is increased, more gas solute molecules will dissolve in the solvent. Carbonated drinks are sealed under a high pressure of carbon dioxide, which helps to dissolve more of the gas in the liquid. When the bottle is opened, the change of pressure above the solvent changes the partial pressure, and the carbon dioxide evaporates from the solvent quickly reaching a new equilibrium. Let's look at an example. What is the solubility of nitrogen in water at 25 degrees Celsius under atmospheric pressure? The first thing to remember is that nitrogen makes up 78% of atmospheric air, which means that the partial pressure of nitrogen will be 0.78 bar because atmospheric pressure is 1 bar. The Henry's Law Solubility Statement equation will be used. Filling in the values to the equation will give us a maximum solubility of nitrogen in water at atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius of 4.7 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per kilogram of solvent. Let's check comprehension. 